All right, so I recently got this pair of denim Air Jordan 6s from Hibbit Sports that I bought for $98 on sale. But I wanna go ahead and customize these and I recently did a different video where I turned them into kind of this galaxy sort of uh, print uh, upper, which is the dye after I bleached them. So I figured I'd go ahead and try to do something similar to this pair right here. But then I saw the AR Goosebumps Travis Scott Nerf gun that he dropped on his site and the theme looked really, really crazy. So I figured I'd try to do a uh, AR Goosebumps theme on top of this sneaker right here. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in with the custom. Basically, I started off with rubbing down bleach all over the upper. This helps tremendously when you're in sunlight. This was after about 20, 25 minutes. The bleach looked really good, and actually I could have finished the shoe off right here. And I might do my third pair like this just because it looks so good, I think. It really evens out the two tones of the denim and makes it look really cool. I think I really like this look. Leave a comment if you guys like the way this looks just as is. But I wanted to take it a couple steps further. And so there was a couple failed attempts that I wanted to show you guys first before the final results. This was basically me trying to ice dye these shoes like so. It's a really big mistake to actually try to ice dye like this. Last time I only did a couple ice cubes over top of it. This time I decided to put a lot of ice and what happened was pretty terrible. I do like this little time lapse though. So uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And it took all my battery life for my phone to do this. So, but look kind of cool how it kind of blends together. However, the final product looks nothing like this. Anyway, I flipped it over right here and this is when everything went terrible. Look at how muddy and crazy everything went. It bleeded everything to the other side and I thought, well, you know, whatever, maybe I can just put more dye on top of it and then see how it's gonna turn out. And the end results uh, were not very good. So this works when I do my clothing and stuff, but on sneakers, it's a lot more difficult to do. And if you do too much dye, it just bleeds all over the place. And here was another little uh, time lapse that I did to show you guys the, the dye melting through. But look at this hodgepodge. Now, it's not even gonna look this bad. Honestly, I should have thrown it through the wash to see the final results, but I didn't do it. And as a result, I didn't get to really see the truth of what it would have looked like. However, I did rinse them out and the results from the rinse out were pretty bad. So this was not the Goosebumps AR that I wanted to show you guys. So I wanted to try it to do this again and again until I got it somewhat right. So, I mean, this was pretty terrible. It looks like somebody found a moldy shoe. Uh, anyway, I took it back to the drawing board, re-bleached it, and you could see the orange really died through when I bleached again. So I had to go out and bleach it one more time with more sunlight. Hard to do overnight because uh, basically there's no sunlight there to help uh, with the bleaching process. So definitely sunlight works best. So once I got them all white again from the sunlight, I went ahead and tried to do something a little bit different. I took my three colors, put them in some glass bowls, and then I added some water to the dye. This is a special type of dye, so maybe this wasn't the right thing to do. Or, you know, partly I'm just not an artist like this, and so trying to um, force a dye was just not easy to do. But I'm trying to make the AR sort of pattern very, very difficult for me to do. I'm not an artist by any means, so this looks absolutely atrocious. Don't dislike the video quite yet. But also I noticed that the blue looked terrible. It was not the color blue that I wanted, so I used the other blue that I had available and tried to do the rest with the other blue. Uh, still, it looks really purpley, so uh, you just kind of have to quote unquote trust the process, and then once you throw them in the wash, then usually it makes a little bit of a difference and the final product doesn't look anywhere near as bad as this. But this doesn't look like the AR at all. I spotted too much of the orange all over the place. There was not enough yellow and it just was literally terrible. Like I honestly laughed right now at this point of the video. So I went back to the drawing board one more time. I rebleached it. Then I decided to go ahead and apply with a sponge instead of a brush uh, for the most part because the sponge made it look more like a pattern, I guess. And really I was trying to get that thermal print pattern and not go with like the little dotty look from the paint brushes. So this is the way it kind of came out. But again, this is not the final results. I wanted to do one more test and see after the wash how this would end up looking. So I ended up using my rejuvenator bags and I threw it in the wash. 
I recommend getting the Rejuvenator Signature Set as well and throwing it in the wash. It does also have the shoe trees. And here is the results after the wash. So this is a big reveal. As we could see, I'm pulling them out as my kids watching some Minions YouTube stuff. But this was the results. And I was like, you know what? This isn't as bad as it could have been. I actually didn't think it looked too terrible. Um, it kind of has the goosebumps sort of vibe with the blue and the yellow and the orange. Maybe a little bit of hit a red in the middle of the orange would have been good. But way, way better than anticipated, especially from those before dye pictures. I mean, honestly, they say trust the process, but yikes, really, really difficult. I think it looks actually pretty decent after my uh, third attempt. So three times a charm, sort of. I think the back looks really, really cool. But, uh, but yeah, this was really, really a challenge. I wanted to go ahead and distress them, though, a little bit. I'm relacing them up, and I'm going over top of the brown because I just didn't really like the brown leather. I might remove the brown leather on the tongue altogether just because I kind of hide it when I lace them up. Did some new laces as well from Rope Lace Supply. And then now I'm going to go ahead and use my Dremel and just really see what I can do to this. This was my first time using the Dremel, so a little bit bad because I wasn't really sure what I was doing. Uh, so, you know, I need to probably touch it up after I'm done. But this is kind of the final touches of the shoe. And then once I'm done with this, you'll see the final results. So hold off on the negative hate comments until the end, which at the end, they'll be totally welcome. I personally like the look of the distressed like denim, I guess, feel. Some people really don't like it. But for me personally, I think it gives it more of like a personality. However, I want it to look somewhat authentic and I don't think I achieved that 100%. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Hopefully I can get a more evened out um, distressed look. I had this little handy vacuum here uh, to clean up all of the dust particles off of it because it was all over the place. And uh, I mean, it looks better in my opinion than it did straight out of the factory. And then the final little bit here, I'm gonna show you guys that I, I just used a sanding block and uh, just kind of sanded uh, bits of it here and there. So that was kind of my final touches. Let's go ahead and show you guys what they look like on feet and then you guys can drop a comment or a thumbs up or down. All right, so here's the final results as you could see. This is the uh, the Travis Scott AR like Nerf gun from Fortnite inspired theme. And I mean, I think it came out okay. Some people are gonna hate it, some people are gonna like it. I feel like there's some little areas that need to be hit with a little bit more color because the color kind of faded quite a bit. But this is kind of the result of three different attempts to dye these sneakers. And it wasn't easy, I'll tell you that, because uh, I really had no idea what I was doing. To, to dye like hoodies and stuff, you have like flat surfaces. This is like all sorts of different shapes and stuff. So the first time I bleached it, I put it down like this and put ice on top, but then the, the water and the ice melted and the whole underside was just blue. Like it just melted into a big hodgepodge of crap. So I had to go back to the drawing board and re-bleach them again. Then I tried to do the upper and the thermal camo-ish sort of pattern, but then I was using paint brushes and it didn't come out at all. Like it looked terrible. And then I decided to use this uh, foam sponge to just kind of blot it in certain places and just try to give it like the heat pattern a little bit. So the yellows are near the oranges and then the blues are the empty space. Uh, but at first the blue looked too dark and I mean the, I, everything that went wrong with this really went wrong. So to say that these are the final results makes me kind of happy because at least it's done and I don't have to redo it again and again. Uh, and I don't hate the results. I think it actually looks kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of that J Balvin um, Air Jordan 1 sort of vibe with that crazy color scheme to it. I do kind of want to touch up the colors a little bit more and to see if I can bring out a little bit more vibrance to the upper. I did sort of thrash some of the areas and I bet that those fibers would look kind of rad if they were dyed a little bit more. So I might try one last time to give it a little bit of a dye because it can be really vibrant, but I feel like I probably dulled it down a little bit too much. This one has a lot more blue on it, uh, as you can see here, but I love the way the back came out of all of the places at least. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a fun attempt to do something 
and I, you know, I don't regret doing it. I still don't think it was like the most amazing results. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. I also have these left over. I, I didn't want to put them on this time. I just figured the colors would be okay without them. And then you can see also for the tongue, I didn't leave the brown parts uh, outward facing. In fact, I actually might take and just completely cut that out because I don't really feel like it fits on the shoe. And just to give you guys kind of like that before and after look, you could see the denim before here and then the denim after here, after all the treatment that we kind of did to this one. So I personally think it looks kind of cool. Like. I, I think that this shoe had a lot of potential. It's just terrible the way that this one came like this. Um, but when I got them for like $98 from Hibbit Sports, I just figured let's go ahead and buy a couple pairs of them and just have a little bit of fun with it. So, so you can see I got two more left, one for the kid, one for myself. What do you guys want to see with this one? If you want to see a custom video on a third pair, leave a comment and let me know. And then my kid wants to probably do a greenish sort of vibe, so I might do that with his. Here's a look at the previous pair for those that wanted to see it. I actually went back through and did a little bit of the Dremel work on this one too, just to wear it in a little bit, as you can see. Uh, I actually really like this one too, like lots of purples and uh, just different colors. It really does have like a galaxy-ish sort of look to it. Drop a comment in the comment section. Do you guys like them or not? I mean, drop a like on the video if you like them or if you like the fact that I at least took the effort for uh, creating them. Honestly, I know some people are going to go, yeah, those are terrible. I mean, it's totally fine if you leave those comments uh, because honestly, they're not for everybody and I totally get that. Some people are going to say, yeah, they like them and other people just really are thinking I'm wasting money and stuff like that. But, but I think the fun part about creating custom sneakers like this is just for the fact that I'm able to create something one of one, one for myself, not for sale and just uh, different than uh, the way that they were originally intended. So I like to be able to create something on my own and make something a little bit more unique. And so that's the reason why I did what I did. I think um, all in all I did okay, but I mean, again, you guys drop a comment and let me know. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And again, if you guys wanna leave a comment, let me know what you guys want to see done to this one. Anyway, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to it. Hit the notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. Have a great rest of the day and we'll see you guys for some more videos soon. Peace guys.